Kickstarter YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter every single day at 2 p.m. and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter is being ran. We do a live stream during the weekdays and we do premieres on the weekend. And today I am incredibly excited to be doing the Wild Wild Weekend and checking out the Fort Magnetic Pillow Fort. I don't like the name that much, by Connor. Magnets plus foam equal kid magic. It's clean, it's simple, it's clear. I'm excited to check this out, and apparently a lot of other people are, as it's already raised $2.3 million with 26 days to go. But before we get into this, if you're enjoying my content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I attempt to try and reach 9,000 subscribers to celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making board game content on YouTube, and now apparently Magnetic Pillow for content. Uh, so, wow, 7,800. 157 backers let's check this out as always do i want it can you do it how much is it hopefully you answer all three of those before the end of this video hi i'm connor the founder of fort you may ask connor what are you doing aren't you supposed to be selling people on the fort kickstarter well actually i am you see i'm sitting quietly drinking a cup of coffee while my kids play with their fort. Because the fort is so fun and so engaging and creates so many opportunities for open-ended play that I can just sit here quietly with all the pillows and all the couch cushions still on the couch. In fact, I even have a nice throw blanket that they haven't taken from me just in weeks. Do you hear that? The sound of me being left alone. What a wonderful world we live in. Okay, so uh, I, I homeschool right now. I have two kids. Connor knows who his market is, and he is hitting his market hard. And I feel like the primary market here has got to be uh, the parents at home with kids uh, during the day. And I mean, obviously, it's, it's a, there's a whole wide variety of that situation, but in particular, uh -huh, wow, excellent job so far. <laughs> Magnetic pillow fort. Who would have thought... But don't take my word for it. Here are what some real parents have said about the fort. All have played independently for the majority of the time that we have the pieces at our house. So that was an outstanding experience. It really gets their wiggles out when they're feeling cooped up inside. My daughter can play with it all day, on her own, so she has a little more fun. It was awesome. <laughs> They've been playing with it nonstop since she brought it, so I actually comb my hair and... <laughs> Let them go. Play on their own. They can carry all the pieces. This is spectacular. Genius idea here. Genius idea. And I say this all the time. You know, you don't have to invest a ton of money into making these videos. You just have to get different, unique, creative, and really think about your market and what your market wants. And me, as a consumer, I want to see, you know, and I didn't even realize I wanted to see this. I want to see other parents' opinions on it. And I did. I see she got to curl her hair. That means a lot to me as a parent. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Magnets mean that your builds won't fall down easily. We save your couch cushions from being destroyed, and the fort is even completely wipeable. In fact, the fort is so durable that we put it to the nice. test with ketchup and dogs. And guess what? Totally fine. And we've <laughs> gone to great lengths to make sure those magnets stay in there so that your kids don't get a hold of them. Now, we do see parents who are concerned about magnet safety a lot, so if you just don't feel comfortable or you have someone in your house with a medical implant, we've got you. We're offering a non-magnetic fort for those of you who are interested. The search for the perfect toy to entertain your kids is over. So get yourself a fort. Or four. I mean, who doesn't want to build a fort? Very well done video. Excellent. So it has answered the question... Of do I want it? It is a resounding yes. And as long as you answer at least one question in the video, I think you're good. But obviously shoot for two or three. Can you do it? How much is it? That's what I want to know next. Now, can you do it? I will say I do feel pretty comfortable. You you have shown me a working, durable prototype. So I know you have the capacity to make the product. Uh, you have, you've even zoomed in on certain aspects of, of it that I really like. There was the point where there was the two that were like this and you went, uh, 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 and I would have liked to seen that for me like a couple extra seconds, but I love seeing that. Also the, uh, what was it? The one where you zoomed in on like the in scene being like really well sewn in where the magnet is. thought that was really well done. Excellent video. So I would, I would say a minor tick for can you do it goes there. All right. Still, how much is it? Hopefully we get there. Connor, 
first created five back. I hope you're not the only person in the comments. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You have uh, a couple people hopefully helping you out with some of the behind the scenes stuff, which I always recommend. All right, now I, uh, I think this launched uh, relatively soon. So one update, 444 comments. That's so that engagement. That engagement does worry me a little bit. Uh, I'm just you know we're gonna get down there, but when I see 7,857 backers, but only one update and four 440 comments. That means that we really got to step up, uh, step up that PR game, step up that getting people engaged with your Kickstarter game. Because you might be doing it on Facebook, you might be doing it on Twitter, you might be doing it on all the other jazz, but you need to be doing it on Kickstarter because that's how you tickle those algorithms and keep climbing up. Uh, even though right now I think you're you're top three uh, in this category, so it's not a big deal yet. But shh, once some more stuff keeps launching, you got to make sure you keep that buzz going. Story: Ford magnets plus foam equal kid magic. Okay. Uh, redundant. Hi, I'm Connor, husband, father, and founder of Fort the Magnetic Pillow Fort. Most blocks and play furniture lack the magic that we wanted in our house. So, so we designed the fort from the ground up, have all the pieces, shapes, and functionality that the modern parent needs. Best of all, it's not your couch cushions. Okay, looks... Oh, Shia LaBeouf. I'm all down. I'm down. I love it. Uh, 12 pieces of five shapes. Strike the perfect bell. I was just so... Why is Shia LaBeouf there? I don't know why Shia... Oh, because it's part of this. But but I, w I watched your GIF. I've now watched your GIF at least three times, which tells me that's a great place to put that. <laughs> because I'm on your page, I'm engaged, and I want to I wanted to slow it down a little bit because I want to see how she crawls in there. It's like, is it cool? So, oh, she could go around either side. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. 12 pieces, five shapes. Strike the perfect balance and help keep your kids engaged. Now, this is something that I see a lot in the board game hobby, but not as much in other categories. I hope you have a very clear picture of exactly what I'm getting. Like this pledge level, maybe set up. I think, that, I hope, hope, hope that it's in there. Uh, see info on product safety. We make a non magnetic forge. Cool. We know about magnets. That's a clip from the video. Whatever. Save your couch cushions. Kids can easily build by themselves. This is all great. I'm sold. Your video sold me. Your video is so spectacular. Uh, I'm sold. Get to the price first. Because here's what I always say about this. Most people watch the video. Not everybody watched the video, but most people watch the video. So if they watch the video and and you made such a good video, you should just get straight to the price and say, here's the cost, go back it over here if you want. And then you get into the story. All this good stuff for the people who didn't watch the video. Uh, I think that's the best way to go, because even for the people who didn't watch the video, they still at least now have a price in their mind, and you've told them how much it is, which is one of the best things you can do. And we still have not gotten there here. Burn energy off indoors during the hot and cold months. We know why we want it. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. These are great videos. Stackable, storable, excellent, excellent. Yeah, show me cleanup time. Yes, love this. This is such good footage. Spectacular. I can see my five-year-old doing it. Oh my god, oh, come on, come off of it. See, why is this the first time I'm hearing of a carrying case? <laughs> that's spectacular. I should not have to scroll down here to hear about a carrying case. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, have the, the pledge level up there. This is how much it costs. This is exactly what you're going to get. And I'm sure, you, I hope you have it further down here, somewhere build anything this is great oh my gosh oh yes this is spectacular everything you have is amazing it's just oh there, here it is here's the is this is what i want to see i want to see this and awesome excellent great slap a price there why is there not a price here what's the price slap me with a price uh what is it 150 you think you don't think you take it 200 give it to me give it to me i want to know the price fabric excellent this is all amazing stuff to have foam good golly spectacular stuff but get to the most crucial information. You know, don't make me go over here. <laughs> I hate that. Like, this is your story. Right here, story. You should be telling me your story. All right. Now, what, now I need to get into this. I need to get back into this. What I still am only halfway on Can You Do It, and I still know absolutely nothing about how much it is. So my do I want it is slowly dwindling. All right, no. Product safety, magnet safety. No, no. Are you not even going to tell me the price? Production start mid-March. Wow, okay. That's spectacular. Imagine from our main fact Images from our main factory. Is this? Okay, so this is a spec... Uh, for more info, Kickstarter policies. What? Oh, okay. Production start mid-March. We are producing our product in mainland China at a factory that specializes in daycare products. The production process starts in mid to late March with magnets after... Importing will take between 30 to 45 days. We will then be packing and shipping orders. Shipping is... Hmm. This all looks very professional. This all looks very, very professional. Um, so, I, you know, maybe that's... I, I'm going to guess that that's the people that he's collaborating with. 
the YG Kickstarter co-pilot and Ian Wilder, I'm going to guess. And I got to say, banging job. Hats off. This looks like it's from a humongous company. Like you have, you have, you have crossed every dot, every T, every I, but God, get that price. $50 shipping. Great. I still don't know the cost. Tell me the cost. Unlike a lot of other play furniture, we can't compress our product because of the leather magnets. Uh, shipping at $50 per four. Okay. I, I don't think that's a bad shipping price. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a hefty one, but I understand completely why. But I still need to know the price. Rewards? New to... No! Oh, well, with a product like this, yes, you might be new to Kickstarter. I'm from the board game world, and so most of the time it's like, no, probably if you're in the board game world, you're probably not new to Kickstarter. But this, I could definitely see being marketed on Facebook or something like that, and it gets people to sign up for it. Here we go! This, right here, needs to be way higher. Exponentially higher. Infinitely higher. This should be right here at the top. This is exactly what I wanted. And if it does come with a little strap, I would also put the strap right on top of there because that strap is a really appealing thing uh so if that's not like an add-on or i don't know exactly how that works because you have not told me which also slightly annoyed there <laughs> cool great i do love seeing this that has completely chicked off the can you do it i now still want it even though i'm getting annoyed can you do it yes but finally we get to the price so 259 dollars plus 50 dollars shipping 309 dollars out the door so you know what you do? You go to that front image, you say $309 to anywhere in the United States, and bada boom, you have immediately told me how much is it. And you, you've cut off the fat with the shipping. This is really odd, though, that you have the shipping in front of the actual cost of the game. I've never seen that done before. This needs to be way higher. Four, 30, oh, th what is this? Oh, these are, okay, so these are your... Oh, that's why you're not doing it. Because, okay, so you had a bunch of, uh, fine, I'll go look over here. A bunch of early birds. Yep, there it is. You got the early birds. Okay, okay, I see. So it can't be nearly and clean as clear as you would like. So then, here's what you do. What's the MSRP? What is it? Well, not the MSRP, but what's the highest price that someone's going to pay on Kickstarter? Is it, say, what's it, $329? Let's just say, it. pretend it's $329. You know what you do? You said $379 shipped anywhere in the United States of America, and then if they happen to be one of the first people to get one of those early birds, all of a sudden they're like, oh, an early bird? Yeah! I get to save money! And just like that, they're a little bit more excited about your product. But you got to put the price up higher. got to put it up higher. It's just, no, it's too far down. Also... All right, so four color options. Excellent, excellent. This stuff, yeah, like right this. This up here should have been just front and center. And then hit me with all the other amazing images and videos and, and diagrams and all that good stuff that you did. But this stuff, get 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 to it. Four colors in person. If you'd like to see these colors look like a person, go to your local bear paint. Oh, okay. Cool. Mm. Okay, so here's the accessories. Here's the add-ons. We've got sweet accessories. Need help? Send us a message. That's odd. That's odd. You know what? Connor, I salute you if you are real. But I don't even know if Connor's real. Part of me, this is crazy. This might sound crazy. It might sound like crazy tales from Forrest in his basement. This, this reeks to me of like that company in China just being like, hey. Here's what we're going to do. We've got this product. We're going to get on Fiverr. We're going to explain exactly what's happening to some people. We're going to pay them well to do something. I, I just, I, and maybe that's completely off the board. And it might be Connor. I hope it's Connor. Either way, I don't care. I don't care if it's a company in China or it's Connor. Either way, I love seeing this product brought into the world. You know, I personally don't care who's coming up with it. It's just, I don't know. It feels almost too professional. And the fact, just how much knowledge they had about their manufacturer in China, it's like, I have worked in the board game hobby, uh, you know, because I, I work, you know, I, it's a hobby still, I, I do the YouTube channel, but I have uh, talked for hundreds of hours with people who work in all different aspects of the hobby, uh, production, uh, manufacturing, uh, you know, companies, all sorts of different things. And... Most of those people don't have this insider knowledge of like <laughs> the factory that they're they're ship they're making their games uh, as th as this Connor guy does, which it just seems that okay the Ford strap is an add on okay okay so that's why you don't have the picture strike that from the record completely understand it magnetic cloud light that's really cool as well that's so cool Ford hat I don't know, whatever Ford strap Ford cover 
Uh, I don't know why I'd want that. When placed... Oh, cool. Fort Blankets. What? What? The magnets! Ah! Ah! That's cool. <laughs> this is great. Uh, what others are saying? <laughs> my grandkids will be over the moon with this, and my couch will be spared. I'm so excited for these. I'm beginning... I'm becoming convinced that we need a fort, not another nugget. Okay. Like this... Does this look like something Connor would do? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Our story. Yes, tell me about Connor. Husband to Molly. Dad of two girls. Founder of Fort. And Connor, I hope it is you. And I hope if it really is you, you understand. That you did such an amazing job. And this is a compliment, really, if you think about it. You have done such an insanely amazing job of presenting your product that I, I, I seriously think that you're a Chinese company. Which... That's, that is the highest compliment I could possibly give someone for running a Kickstarter. Fort was founded in St. Louis, Missouri by Connor B. Lewis. That's me. Uh, the idea was simple. Build a better pillow fort. Watching my wife in two years. No, I th so maybe this is real. Customer experience. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So now this all makes sense. This all makes way more sense. It wasn't just Connor. It was a team that, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 okay. This makes so much more sense. But if this was just one dude on his couch, I was like, hell no. Hell no. How you know that much about that factory, Connor? Where are you getting these pictures? Get out of here with that. Uh, but yeah, whoever you hired for this, top notch. This is a beautifully ran Kickstarter with information, except for the placement of things. Uh, I would totally consider the placement. Now let's talk about these updates. January 27th, that's two days ago. That's totally reasonable. One update, no issues. But le let me show you something here. 266 hearts, 18 comments. You got people who are ready to be engaged with this. You do. Let's check out what you got here. Hopefully you, had, hopefully you ended on a question. With your Connor, founder of Ford here. We know. We know, Connor. You don't need to tell us. With your help, we become the second most funded toy ever on Kickstarter and the second largest live Kickstarter campaign worldwide, as well as projects we love and, and being featured on the homepage. It's been a wild 24 hours. Uh, or, yeah, looks good. We're about to hit the threshold. We will continue to... No. No. No, 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 no. F. You know what? I'm not going to go in F. F is not fair. I'll go with a C minus. It's got information, you give some name drags, you got some cute emojis, because you know who your audience is. Uh, if I if I had the money to back this with my son, I, I, might, I might even show him some of this stuff. You know, be like, hey, check out these videos, buddy. But, there's uh, there's nothing really for me to engage with. Oh, hey, uh, or join our email list or SMS group. Like, yeah, yeah. Why don't you ask me something? Why don't you say, we've got some amazing add-ons, but hey. We can't promise we can do any of them, but we'll talk to our manufacturer. Do you have any other potential ideas for some great Ford add-ons? Let us know in the update comments, or let us know in the comments. Let it, uh, and then you say, then you say it right here. This is what you say. <clears throat> la 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 la. You say, uh, let me know in the comments section over there, because by commenting there. It will make this project more popular by tickling the YouTube algorithms. And maybe you say that in a more streamlined way. But you essentially pull back the curtain and say, hey, if you post over here, this will get more popular. Then we could potentially get more cool add-ons. I would, I would phrase it like that because as far as I know, that's, that's true. Like if you raise $20 million, it's like, okay, well, we could start looking at some crazy add-ons because, you know, we've essentially... You know, we we've just found a cash cow, which I mean, you already have right here. It looks like you're gonna you're gonna have this going, which is spectacular. I, I'm so happy for you because I, I, it's such a brilliant idea, and the fact that no one did it, boom, glad you're on it. <clears throat> but I'm not engaged by this. This update it doesn't get me engaged. It doesn't get me coming back. It doesn't get me excited about coming back to this Kickstarter for any reason because there's no stretch goals. But you can still do unlocks. Talk to your manufacturer. Or heck, talk to anybody. As long as it's got magnets in it. Heck, any I would talk to a magnet company. Say, like, what weird things could we potentially put on this? You know, you thought of a nightlight. That's a great idea. But what else is there? What could you get? Bubble blower? I don't know. Go crazy. Why not? You got 7,000 parents here. You tell them you could strap a freaking bubble blower to your pillow fort. They'll be like, yeah, Billy'd like that. I mean, I mean here we go. Let's see the comments. 
All right, what we got? What we got? Hey, look, it's Squishy Forts 2.0. Original idea. Okay, sure. Girl, bye. Whoa, Squishy Forts 2.0. Let's see this. Dish, doing the dish. Squishy Forts 2.0. I can't type. Squishy Forts 2.0. The world's first pillow fort construction kit. Oh, it was already a Kickstarter. Ooh. Well, the plot thickens. So, uh... Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. It fits in there. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> it's very similar. Oh, that stinks. December 2013. So, it can't... Well, okay. You know what? Here's the thing. You can't trash this guy because he didn't know about this project from four years ago that made... 67,000 Australian dollars. Like, look at this. 359. So let's say that, you know, 359 people backed this. Maybe they made a print run of, say, 500. I think that's perfectly reasonable. So they... 500 of these things are in the world. You know, many people have multiples of this thing. You know, because obviously, would you want just one of these or would you rather have more than one? And I bet there's a pledge level here that's probably going to have more than one. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know, because it's ugly as sin. Oh my gosh, we're not looking at this Kickstarter anymore. But, you know, so maybe there's less than 500 of those floating around the world, potentially. And, how is, how is Connor supposed to know about that? I mean, maybe he did. And even if he did, who cares? You know what? The fact that I did not know it exists, and you probably didn't know it exists, tells you enough. And it's just, eh. Well, haters gonna hate. That's what this is. Timothy, Superbacker, haters gonna hate. Normally I love Superbackers. Haters gonna hate. Girl, bye. Good, Ashley. I love it. I'm gonna back this project later because I announced I'm gonna say, mm. you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do it now. I'll back it later for a dollar. I always do. Uh, if you're one of the first 10K backers, do we get it for $199? The 50% off discount was for the first 10,000 email subscribers who signed up by November 11th. Oh my good God. <laughs> Woo! 10,000! Good golly, because you knew not all 10,000 were going to do it. But still, that is spectacular. That's how you thats how you launch this rocket ship. I see it. But I don't see how you're going to sustain it in the middle. You're going to get that huge boom at the end when Kickstarter pushes you because it's the last 48 hours. But what are you going to do? What are you going to release? I see a lot of Kickstarters where they have these big gaps and updates. Don't do it. you got 7,700 people right now. You want to get them in your comment section talking about being a parent. Because you know, when you know your audience, you need to pinpoint what they have in common and try and engage them with that common ground. And what do you know about the people buying this? They got kids. So what do you say? Maybe in the next update you say, so what are your kids' plans for, um, what are your kids' plans for their pillow fort? Uh, let us know in the comments or... Or, here you go, baby. I got you an idea. You ready? I didn't mean to call baby. I'll say it to Connor. I'll say it to Ian. I'll call it buddy baby. It's not a sexist thing. Just call it buddy baby, baby. Uh, but, here's an idea. Boom. Put it right here. Throw me a pillow for it to be using. Because that'd be great. But, what if you say, what if you start a hashtag YouTube thing where you say, uh, have your kid, if they're down, or just leave in the comments, tell us what they want to do with their pillow for it. Maybe they could take it to a certain part of the house. Maybe it's just like a 30-second video. I was like, like, you know, like my, my son, my five-year-old, just turned five, always yells at me, I'm not four, I'm five, would totally, I know this, <clears throat> he would probably turn his bunk bed, because he has a bunk bed with my, with my, my older son, uh, he would probably turn it into an ice cream stand. He would set it up here, and he would probably, I, I could imagine that would be something he'd say. And it would just be a 30-second cute snippet of some kid saying, Oh, I turned this into the ice cream stand right here, then my, my puppy Billy would eat the ice cream, and Benny would be bad, and spank him. And like, oh, all the grandmas would be like, Oh, this is so cute! And then everybody would be loving the hashtag, and the trend, and the Twitter, and now all of a sudden we go from a $2.5 million project to a $20 million project that's on CNN. And maybe you're on CNN, because they need to fill the 24-hour news cycle. And they, you know, we don't have... Uh, a president who does fill the 24-hour news cycle as much. Uh, so, so, there, so there you go. And maybe that's, maybe, who knows? Maybe then you're on Shark Tank or something. I don't know. But I'm just saying, how do you engage the 7,000 people? Gotta do it. Gotta do it. And I don't see that being something you strive for. Don't settle for two and a half million. Did I settle for two and a half million? No. Because <laughs> I've never been offered two and a half million. But, but I'm just saying, 
just keep going. Keep going. This middle part right here. Keep it popping. You got 7,000 parents. Engage them. Congratulations on a successful campaign. I've watched since day number one. Sorry, I don't have the means to pledge more at the time. Uh, okay. Why, why didn't you respond to that? So this is the game I always like to play. And hopefully you're not just responding to the ones that are related to money. And I see some people do that. I see that. It's bad form. I mean, I know it makes sense, but you should do all of them. So let's do it. I'm going to pretend. I always like to play this game. <clears throat> Congratulations on a successful campaign. I've watched since day number one. Sorry I didn't have the means to pledge more at this time, but I did want to say that this has been a, such a huge inspiration and motivation for me. I hope to one day be able to make my toy idea come to life. For now, just baby steps. But this is so awesome to watch. Shoutouts to Kickstart. Such a huge gateway for many awesome campaign. Whoa, Jasmine. Uh, whew, so I was going to say maybe you engage her about what her idea is. But then again, I don't know if people would feel comfortable talking about that particular topic. Uh, <clears throat> but maybe you reach out to Jasmine in the comments and you say... Hey, Jasmine, you know, we, we are riding this wildly successful Kickstarter campaign, and once the fort gets done, you know, maybe maybe we turn ourselves into a toy company. And so we would love if you would uh, let us know about your idea, send us an email, and see if maybe we could potentially help you with your Kickstarter and your dream, because, you know, anything like that, anything, maybe that's the route you go, but there's different routes to go here. Uh, will this ship to yes? So that's a money question. You answered it on point. Excellent. Halo, I bought one. My husband tried to join Facebook group but did not let us in. My husband named Tommy. Uh, okay. Thanks, Ian. Awesome. Can't wait to this her daughter for her second birthday. Yes, yes. That's awesome. So yes, Connor gets it. Connor! I'm loving Connor. I'm so glad you're not a Chinese company, Connor. <laughs> yes, he gets it. So this is this is the this is a comment that I talk about, and a lot of people don't engage with these, and I didn't used to. I used to be very bad about this. I'll be brutally honest. I'm very critical of myself. Trust me. Uh, so let's look at it. I cannot wait to give this to my daughter for her second birthday. We have a nugget, and I've always wished the builds would help us better, and then boom. I came across the Kickstarter by putting my kiddo to bed, yada, 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 and thanks so much for an awesome product. So many people would not respond to that product because there's no question, there's no real topic. It's just Allison telling how she found it. And some people would leave that comment dormant. No, you comment on it. Connor did it. Yes, that's awesome. So glad to have you on board. You now have engaged Allison. Allison likes it, but other people have seen you engage Allison over over seemingly you know no real topic. You know she wasn't asking about shipping or something like that, and you still took the time to do that, and it makes you look good. Love it. How awesome is this? I've been following this project for some time now, so I'm happy to be a part of this and see... Oh, so there's a lot of legwork that looks like it was done in the beginning. I would love to know more about that, too. Perhaps you could put that into an update. Uh, quick question. Have I changed my pledge to a club war? Okay. Very on point with most of them. I am one of the 7,000 that I believe in you. I back this project by leaving this comment in hopes of someday attracting having people believe in me and my project this big. <sighs> Really? Connor is engaging a whole different subsection of people. You know, I thought it was you know, mostly going to be parents, but it seems like you really are being an inspiration <clears throat> to potential uh, inventors, which is it's cool. I'm just thinking of how do you capitalize on that? <laughs> as bad as that is, you know, I'm looking at this from a marketing perspective. How do you capitalize on that? And, and maybe, maybe, maybe start taking applications for ideas. You know, say it, we're, we'll keep it private. If we don't want it, you know, we will not do anything with the idea. But uh, if we do end up doing stuff, we, we could definitely help make your dream come to reality. And before you know it, you're not just a toy manufacturer. You're a, you're a dream maker. You're an Andrew Yang, my friend. I wonder if you're going to be able to sleep with all this, this going on. And this is only the beginning, guys. Mary Bell. Yeah, like right here. No one responded to this. I'm going to guess Connor was sleeping. Because this is what you need to be on, too. Do while you're pooping. Take it 20 seconds. Get somebody else. Get get one person that you know and that you trust and say, hey, would you be willing to just do the niceties? There'll be some comments uh, that, that just don't have, like, they're not asking a question. They're not looking for anything, but you just respond nicely. <clears throat> Why not? Because that tickles your comments section, which uh, gets you higher on those algorithms, which is going to be crucial. But overall... I would say zero, one, or two. Zero, keep on clicking. One, 
Back it for a dollar, come back in the last 48 hours. Or two, back it for the whale. There is no whale here. Uh, so I don't want to give it the two. Because I always am a firm believer in the whale. And maybe, that, you know, I didn't even mention that. but uh, So I, I would totally have just a, a premium one. It comes with all the add-ons. Every single add-on, slight price reduction. Uh, you can even throw the hat in there, too. Like, go the whole whale. Because there's going to be some people, absolutely, are like, yep, I'm down. I love what you're doing. I love it. I want to support the idea. What's well, an extra... 110, 110, 135, 160, 172. So you make an extra 150 for the whale. Maybe an extra 140. Extra 130. Hell, you know, how much does that cost? How much does this hat? 20, 25 dollars for a hat. Get out of here, Connor. But, but I mean, but I mean, yeah, you put it in there, you give him a whale. If you had a whale, I'd go too. But as it stands, I will give it one. Uh, you have run this so well that I thought you were a Chinese factory. So excellent job. Uh, that is the Fort Magnetic Pillow Fort. I'd love to see some more engagement. I'd love to see the prices a little bit earlier, but overall, like, oh yeah, I'm watching it again. You did, you got me again. Look at that. There's like, she could like, she could go, she could totally just climb back around if she wanted to. Ah, oh, looks so fun. And there's Shia LaBeouf, and he makes me happy. But as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.